Meantime, this, a cool, futuristic pop-up painting workshop is about to open in Hollywood. Christy Fajardo has more. Good morning to you. What you making me? Good morning. What do you think <laughs> of my artwork? <laughs> Oh, did you make that for me? No, actually, this is, I wish. This is actually, I'm told from Amazon, it is here for inspiration. This is my work this morning. I like to provoke thought in my work. Is it the total eclipse? Is it a sunflower? I don't even know. But this is uh, what you can expect if you come on down here to Hollywood. And this morning we are joined by Pauline Reonisto. Thank you so much for being with us. And you were telling me that Neon Brush has actually taken off all over the world and it's now coming to LA. Yeah, uh, it's what it was a successful campaign that we had over in Europe over at Fever over there um, and we've been launching it here in the US ever since we've launched in Chicago and actually Los Angeles right here at three clubs in Hollywood last month and we have upcoming events for Neon Brush this upcoming weekend as well as the weekend of May 17 as well. And this is a very different sort of sip and paint experience. Right. It's the nightclub experience. We're painting in the dark. Yes. We're in a bar. People can get cocktails. There'll yes. be a DJ playing. Yes. So yes. does that inspire different types of art? I, I definitely think so. Like last month when I was here, a lot of people were just getting so inspired with the neon lit environment that um, a lot of people have told me that their paintings have come to a different way of life that they've seen it um, through the paint that they painted or even just through the neon glasses that we also provide to them. Yeah, so talk about these glasses. Yeah, halfway through the experience, we passed these neon glasses out, um, uh, these 3D glasses, my apologies, but we just put them on um, and it actually brings the painting to a different way of life. It, it comes more into the light of how people see it and it's a really great experience. And so that's why the neon colors, you get a different experience. Yeah. Yeah, and definitely we still do want to curate this environment where it's this futuristic environment, something that folks can let their imagination run wild here. And there's so much talent in Los Angeles. I'm sure you see paintings that just blow you away. Yeah, definitely. We've seen so many paintings, um, just really cool futuristic paintings I've never seen before. Yeah, and if this is the best you can do, you're still welcome. Like, right? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to. Uh, we welcome everyone and anyone, any level of painting experience. As you can see, mine also is not the most amazing, but I've definitely seen a, a lot of really great talent this past month. So if people want to come down, this is on Vine? Yes, it's on Vine Street. It's um, at three clubs over here in Hollywood. And Friday through? This Friday through Sunday, um, we have multiple sessions. They're 90 minute sessions throughout this whole weekend. Um, and we are also launching in the same venue next month um, in May 17 weekend. And so Pauline was telling me that her parents watch Good Day LA every single day. What are your parents' names? Evangeline and Peter. Hi, Evangeline and Peter. Good morning. Good Evangeline morning, and Peter. Daughter. Love it. Thanks for watching. See, that's something different. I love that. Mm -hmm. And plus, you can you can take something home. Yeah. When you're all done. It's good stuff. I a like unique work of art. I like glow in the dark neon. You do. I do. <laughs>